Hello guys! Welcome back to our channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we help new fish keepers to thrive in the aquarium hobby. In the last video, we covered the 7 best snail species you can keep in your community fish tank, and we discussed why you should keep these snails in your fish tanks. But today, in this video, we will cover 4 pest snail species that you should avoid introducing into your community aquariums. Not thousands of these little beasts taking over your tank can be scary, and they can burden biological filtration and clog filter intake tubes. That is why you should avoid introducing pest snails to your fish tanks. So, I hope you now have enough knowledge of why you should avoid these snails, and with that said, let's move to our list of snails you should avoid. The species in this list tend to be those unwanted snails aquarists try to get rid of. But they also have their positive sides, so I'm not calling them straight up villains here. Instead, you are recommended to be very careful about adding them to your tank and try out some other snails listed in the last video. I will add a link to the description and the i button to learn more about the best aquarium snails. Now before we get started, here's where I ask for a hand on smashing that like button. Smashing the like button lets the YouTube algos know that this video deserves an algorithmic high five, while at the same time encourages me to make more videos just like this one. Bladder snails are the first snail species you should avoid adding to your fish tanks. Bladder snails are a freshwater snail species that many aquarists have in their tanks. However, these snails aren't usually added to fish tanks by choice. These distinctive looking snails have the ability to breed fast, and since they are hermaphroditic, you only need one to start a colony. Bladder snails don't dig, they breathe air from the surface, although they spend most of their time cruising around on surfaces in your tank. They feed on algae, waste, and uneaten food but do not damage plants. However, they will feed on damaged or dead plant matter. After bladder snail, you should avoid adding ramshorn snail to your fish tank. Ramshorn snails often find their way into aquariums accidentally on new plants. They are one of the most common pests of snails in the aquarium trade. Ramshorn snails are very peaceful but breed freely, which can be pretty annoying if you never planned on having them in the first place. However, ramshorn snails are hard workers in freshwater aquariums and have excellent multicolored spiraled shells. They are not fuzzy about food and are happy to scavenge and feed on uneaten fish food. They will also eat algae but not feed on live plants. They are known for eating black beard algae. After ramshorn snail, let's talk about assassin snails. Assassin snails are the cannibals of the snail world. These carnivorous mollusks feed on other snails, so most aquarists keep them to help control the population of pest snails in their tanks. For that purpose, they are great, but if you like your snails, avoid introducing assassins to your tank. Although it is rare, they will sometimes feed on freshwater shrimp in the aquarium as well. Usually, they will only feed on dead or dying shrimps and even dead fish. If you don't have other snails, you can still keep the species if you provide them with the high-protein sinking food. After assassin snail, let's move to our last pest snail on this list which is apple snail. Apple snails have crawled onto this list of snails to avoid for two reasons. They have a habit of eating live plants and are invasive. Apple snails can make an interesting pet in tanks without any live plants, but they should be kept far away from your aquascapes. Apple snails have escaped captivity and become invasive in many parts of Asia and the southeast of the USA. They will probably invade other parts of the world if they are allowed to, so please remember to be responsible and never release them, or any other aquarium plant or animal, into the wild. So these are 4 pest snail species that are not recommended to keep in community tanks if you are a beginner fish keeper. Remember that having a few snails in your aquarium isn't necessarily bad practice, as they eat algae and eliminate food the fish don't eat. If you keep them at bay, they can work in your favor. I hope this video helped you with why you should consider the best aquarium snails instead of the ones mentioned in this list. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. And if you want to know about snails that you can keep in the fish aquarium, watch our freshwater aquarium snails video. 
where we have covered the best 7 snails that can be kept in community tanks. If you have any queries or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will also find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching this video.